Ah, a beautiful day at the Brookhaven White House. And there's me. And I am going in for my daily shift as the plumber of the White House. He said, ID, please. Yes, here he goes. Right here, you can take a look. He said, all right, checks out. Sounds good. He said, go on in. And I'm very excited because today the president and the vice president are finally back from their two-week trip. You know, I've been here for a good two weeks now, and I know the good routine, but upstairs where the prez works, I have not seen him up there yet. So I'm like super excited. So let's just go in the bathroom here you know check myself out hey you you work at the white house bro you work at the white house you know i just have to you know hype myself up real quick before i go in and seismic sauce boom and fix the toilet man the white house they just love clogging their toilets over here for real i'm unclogging many of these things but it's a good gig i really like it and i get to finally meet the president today oh i'm so excited all right now that that toilet is all unclogged i'm gonna go over here and make sure if there's any leaks or anything in any of the corners any pipes that have been malfunctioning again Yes, Mr. President. Yes, yes, yes. I got it. Oh, my gosh. And, and if you guys don't know, that's the Vice President Todd right there. And there's the president. Yes, okay, I know. Oh, I think this is my moment. I, I should go up and introduce myself. Hey, I got this. Here we go. Uh, hello, Mr. President. And hello, VP Todd. Hi there. How's it going, man? Hey, nice to meet you. I just wanted to introduce myself. I am the plumber here. I just started a good two weeks ago. I know you guys have been busy traveling around the world, you know, making sure the world's all good and stuff. So, well, nice to meet you. And the president, you said, what do you want? Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm the plumber here. Just wanted to say hello. And he actually just said, well, hurry up. My toilet is clogged. Uh, yeah, no, uh, uh, of course. Sorry. Is he in a bad mood this usually? Uh, yes, I normally is, bro. You know, you just, uh, <laughs> it's best you just go and clog his toilet. Nice meeting you though. Yeah. Yeah. You, you too. And uh, okay. Let's just go upstairs and holy crap. There it is guys. The Oval Office of Brookhaven. Look at this desk. That's where he sits every single day. All right, let's just go in and unclog this toilet. Oh my gosh, Mr. President, it is very gross in here. I can't even show the, the camera that, to be honest. That is disgusting. This president right here is eating a lot of Big Macs, I can tell. And finally good. All right, awesome. I've always appreciated the White House and the laws and, and just being a part of the government and stuff. And, and you know, working here is so cool. Maybe one day I could run for president or something. Ah, I don't want to talk out of, I don't want to talk out of my butt. Yeah, it's crazy talk. The president actually sent the chat. These darn people always wanting to talk to me. Don't they know I'm above them? Well, obviously he's the president, but. Yes, Mr. President, I know you're above them. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, but we got business to attend to, okay? Man, I, I feel really bad. Oh, man, I, I better not get involved with all this stuff. Uh, it seems like a lot. The president just ran me screaming upstairs, fine. Oh, man, uh, Vi Vice President Todd, is he all good? Yeah, he's just all mad because like the campaign's running out of money because he spends it all on stupid campaign stuff. Oh yeah, the election, it's coming up, right? I, I forgot, it's about a year from now. I spent all this money on these dumb arcade machines and like, look at this place, bro. Like no one even works around here. Is that guy playing Tetris? Man. This is, this is a crazy place to be, bro. Again, I am so sorry that you have to deal with the president like that, bro. I honestly thought he was kind of a cooler guy. He, he's a cool guy, but, you know, like, all this pressure sometimes falls on me. And, you know, like, oh, it's really hard, bro, being the vice president. People don't get it. They just think, oh, like, the president, he knows everything. But, no, like, the vice president's got it pretty hard, man. He's like, oh, Todd. He's like, we're running out of money for the campaign. Yeah, I'm like, sorry, Mr. Yeah. President. You shouldn't be buying any more arcade machines. Yeah, no, you're. Yeah, cool, man. I really like cola. Yeah, no, you're good, dude. Well, hey, I just wanted to, again, introduce myself. My name's Poke, the plumber. And if you ever need any toilets unclogged, bro, I'm your man, dude. All right? <laughs> well, uh, hey, man, I'll keep that in mind. Thanks a lot. Yes, sir. See you around, buddy. Well, toilets are unclogged. Everything's all good. I think it's time for me to clock out and go home. And the president has a speech later. I can't wait to see it. All right, we have made it back in. And I am about to watch the speech that the president has today. I'm so excited. Let's see what the man is going to change today. Live from the White House is the president. Oh, oh, hello, Brookhaven. Proud to be running this country. I'm here with my vice president, Todd. Hello, Brookhaven. And you know, I actually wanted to start this one off with a, a little story. You know, a plumber came in today. And, well, he was just the nicest guy, and I treated him with the utmost of respect. What? And it just made me thinking. A plumber is just like any other person. So, I treated him with the utmost respect. I gave him $50,000 and told him, you start a good life with that. He'll still be working for me, of course. <laughs> Vice President Todd, do you have anything to add to that story? <clears throat> 
Yeah, I was uh totally there, and I saw the whole thing. Well, that's enough. Yeah, perfect. Well, appreciate that one. Well, we have some great laws coming up. When I uh, think about them, I'll have to get them wrote, written out, I think, still. Well, thank you. Thanks again, Brookhaven. I'll hit you up with a new update soon. That's all I have to say. Bye. What is he talking about? He's literally lying. They didn't give me 50K? Oh, my gosh. And I saw Todd's face, too, and he totally knew that he was lying. Man, the president, I thought he was going to show off some, maybe some new laws today, maybe to help the Brookhaven world grow more and more. You know, the highways always backed up they need like 100 more lanes oh my goodness i am so disappointed in the president he totally just made up a fake story about me if i was ever president i'd be treating everyone with respect making new laws that'd be good for the city of brookhaven i'd be doing everything right man that's why i got into this whole job anyways well i'll be back tomorrow i got more toilets i gotta fix yes sir sounds good and he just said you can go in okay perfect thank you all right let's just head back in and oh there's oh, vice uh, president todd yo what's up vp hey poke hey hey how's it going uh poke, there right? that's he your is. Name? yes yeah my name's poke yes sir bro vp todd oh man you didn't uh happen to see the um <clears throat> news last night did you oh I saw it. Yeah, I, I thought about it. I, I think the president was just like clout farming. I'm, I'm not really too worried. You know, it's it's fine. I'm just the plumber around here. I, Bro, I, what? You should be mad. He literally lied about it on public TV. Literally national TV. Everyone saw that. Actually, he gave you 50 grand. He treated right. you like butt. No, you're right. No, you're, you're right, dude. No, I'm going to think about this. Yeah, I, I did think about it last night, but then yeah, I'm just back here and I'm just so mesmerized by the... The president, there he is again, Mr. President! Oh, uh, hey, Mr. President. Oh, crap. He, he just said, what did you just say? Uh-oh. Uh, uh I'm, I'm just gonna, uh, uh... No, he didn't say anything, Mr. President. You overheard me saying, uh, how stinky your fart was. Yeah, no, Mr. President, I, I didn't say anything. He just said, listen here, me mentioning you on air was the best thing that'll ever happen in your life. So be grateful. Mr. President, I'm... I'm sorry. He said, now get up here, Todd, and help me. With what? We literally just finished everything. Jenga, now, my office. Oh my god, this guy loves Jenga. Okay, poke. Uh, I'll see you later. Yeah, yeah, see, see you, bro. Man, I'm really starting to think about that speech last night more. I cannot believe the president did that. He literally lied. And, you know, what the crap is he even doing around here, bro? That whole speech yesterday was crap. All these arcade machines are crap. He's going to play Jenga right now, and all he takes is big craps. I, I am so over this man. I will do do whatever I can to become the next president. I think I have a great idea. What the heck is that noise? What is that noise? Oh my gosh, there's a flood coming from upstairs. Oh my goodness, the entire basement library archives is getting flooded. All of these great documents. No, 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 no. Mr. President, we have a huge issue. No, I didn't cheat. You literally tried to cheat. Wait, he cheated in Django? Wait, no, we have bigger issues. Uh, uh, did one of you hit a like pipe or something with a jenga block uh why uh you might want to come see this uh come all the way down here we're uh, having some pretty bad flood damage right now uh what happened uh, i'm not too sure i think someone I, I heard a jenga piece did you guys hit a pipe or something he said what did you do no i i, I didn't do i didn't do anything mr president well, i i did not do anything mr president please like you have to be realistic here i didn't do this he said the 50k i gave you just meant nothing you never gave me 50k mr president listen 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 it's not his fault yeah no it's, it's really not my fault thank thank you vice president todd he said you're so ungrateful and he just said shut it todd oh I'd be, I'd be careful, VP. Mr. President, uh, I'm so sorry. I, I will immediately get this going. I will immediately do what I can, okay? He said, fix the leak and get out of my sight. Okay, I'm sorry, sir. Sorry again, Vice President Todd. No, it's, no, I'm sorry, bro. It's okay. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll get this fixed up. Man, what a day. Well, I just made a very, very big decision, and it's time to let somebody know. I hope he answers. He gave me his number. Uh, uh, hello, Vice President? Hello? It's Poke the Plumber, but uh, I just wanted to let you know something crazy, buddy. Oh, hey, Poke the Plumber. How's it going, buddy? It's going great. I uh, am officially running for president this year. You are? And I'm going to outbeat Mr. Oliver. I swear I'm going to do it, bro. President Oliver has been in office for like four years. You really think uh, you're going to beat him? I think so, dude. But if if I could get your help on some things, what do you think I should do first? How, how can I get some early votes? Dude, you got to start campaigning immediately. Start getting in the streets and talking to the people of Brookhaven. Really get your name out there. Of course. I'm going to figure out what they want, what they don't want. I'm going to do this, buddy. I'm going to be the voice. All right. I got to go. I'll talk to you soon. Good luck. Let's do this. But tomorrow, because I'm really tired. Well, it's time to officially hit the streets. I am here the next day, and it is time to get my name out there and let people know who I am. Excuse me, sir. Would you be interested in voting for me for future president? Let's just give him a flyer. Just here you go. Take a... You said buzz off. Oh. 
Oh, oh okay. Uh, so sorry, sir. Uh, sorry, sir. Okay, let's just find uh, some more people downtown. Okay, there's someone over here laying down. Okay, I'm gonna try a new approach. Excuse me, sir. I have a sign here. Plumber for president. He said, hey. Oh, uh, sorry, sir. He said, you're blocking my son, bro. Yeah, no, uh, apologies. Okay, here, let me, let me pull out the paper again and let me just read him. What is one thing that you would add to Brookhaven? You know, just thought I would ask him maybe if he has anything you'd add. This guy said I would add more playgrounds for my kids. Yeah, I mean, if you guys take a look, Brookhaven is like no playground at all. Hello, three swings. Said this one is old and small. Yeah, no, I, I actually agree with that. Okay, that's actually a very good uh, note. Okay, would you vote for me for president if I added one? Just, you know, I'm just curious. And guys, he literally said maybe. Said the current president stinks. Yeah, Mr. Oliver is uh, all right. Let's just put it that way. Well, thank you. Really, really appreciate it. Okay, we got one more person over here. Let's see what they would actually add here. And I'm not even gonna think, bring up the whole president thing. Hello, ma'am. What is one thing that you would remove or add to Brookhaven? She said bigger airport. I feel like we need more flights. I feel like. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. Okay. I'll definitely keep that in mind. I'm going to let her know right now. Well, I am running for president this year as Poke. Well, if you vote, then keep that in mind. You know, it's giving the people what they want, right? It's giving the people what they want and don't want. And it seems like this guy needs more of like an outdoor gym, maybe. Huh, I'll have to keep that in mind. And we've officially put down our first sign, Poke for Prez. All right. I think oh, we have a great campaign going. Let's go home and let's see how many votes we could possibly get in the next week. All right, guys, it's time for another crazy day at the White House. But before I go in there, I'm actually going to check my social medias and see how many followers I have. Are you guys kidding me? The only five people that follow me were the people that I actually talked to in the streets, man. Oh my goodness. I need to think of another approach and maybe I could talk to Vice President Todd to see what he would think. All right, well, let's just head to work. All right, another day at the White House. And man, I just can't help but notice this guy has not even moved in like, I, I could, it feels like weeks, God. I, I mean, maybe he just leaves later than me. I, I, I don't even know. Well, I better start downstairs before anything. Let's just go in here and make sure everything's good. And oh, actually this toilet's not that bad today. Man, as the days I can't pain more the less and less I want to be a plumber. I feel like I'm destined for so much more. All right, let's just go upstairs. Let's just go and see. Oh God, the president. Oh man. And there's VP Todd, my boy. Okay, let's just go in here. Listen, man. What are they saying? Okay. Yeah, I don't have nothing to worry about. We're going to get some more money for your campaign. And it'll all be fine. And I wonder if everything's good out there. All right, I might as well just say hello. Yo, hello, Mr. Oh, president uh, and <laughs> VP. Not a good time, oh, Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yep. Sorry. My bad. My bad. Oh my gosh. What the crap happened up there? Oh, uh, choo, choo, oh my choo. God, dude. Are you good? I heard a loud noise up there, buddy. He is not happy, bro. Let me just tell you. Oh, dude, man. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. Well, buddy. Ugh, well, maybe you want to help me out with this thing and maybe we could get this guy out of there, bro. I, I, need a, I need to think of a way to get more people behind my back, bro. Like, what could I do, dude? Are you serious, bro? Are you asking me to like... Like, leave the president and help you run your campaign? No, no, no. You could still be the vice president here. But if you, dude, if you want to be my vice president, man, and if I win, <laughs> dude, you're in. You think I would go against the president? President Oliver's been loyal to me for years. You're, you're, you're like, hey, hey, excuse me. Uh, I got you, bro. <laughs> dude, yeah, of course I'm going to help you, bro. That guy treated me like poopy. Oh, my God. I got so scared. Okay, well, dude, thought what do you think? Yeah, you, I thought okay. I thought. Okay, so what do you think I should do for, like, a thing? I was thinking I needed, like, a TikTok idea. Like, well, what's your best bet right now, bro? Dude, you should totally come up with, like, a presidential dance. Presidential dance. Bro, would you be in it, to be honest? Maybe that could do, oh, like, some numbers. Oh, yeah, I would. Okay, all right. Here, let's actually get that thing set up. Hold on. Let's set up a little tripod action all right it's all set up bro it's time to go viral i'm here with the vice president and we're gonna dance hey 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 me and the vice president this plumber is the coolest hey Let's vote for him for president hey dang bro what a banger dude that was so sick i'm gonna upload that thing right Guys, now bro so sick here, yeah i'll bro. tag your account too you have like two million followers, bro. You're all big as the vice. <laughs> Refresh, bro. I don't know, think you can count your zeros too many. Oh my uh, god. I, I, 200 million. Oh my god. I'm the vice president, bro. Like, holy crap. All right, well, bro, my toilet job is all good here today, man. If you want to swing by later, bro, like, that'd be fire. Do we maybe eat some food or something, bro? Oh, okay, bro. That does sound pretty lit. Um, all right, all right. Uh, just make sure you keep it low key, bro, because the president, you know. Of course, of course. All right, all right I'll see you later, buddy. All right, clocking out. All right, peace out security man 
I think things are about to look up for me. All right, and I'm officially getting my first list of all the new laws that I would add to Brookhaven, including more parks, bigger airport, bigger highway system as well. Everything is seriously looking up right now. I better just clock off and relax. I think Todd's gonna come over soon. Maybe we're gonna go hit Brooks Diner. In the meantime, I'm just gonna lay it down. It's been a long day. Hello? Hello? Yo, buddy. Place? Oh my gosh, Judy. Yeah, what up? I don't, have you ever been here before? Yo, welcome. No, no, bro. This is nice. I actually like the motel. I've never stayed here before. Thanks. Thanks, dude. No, yeah, it's a good pick, honestly. So, buddy, what's up, dude? Are you, uh, you trying to get some food? Oh, am I trying to get some food? Yeah, bro, I am starving, okay? The president never lets me eat during the day. Oh, yeah, sorry about that again, bro. Actually, reminds me of that TikTok that me and you... <laughs> made earlier it's at five million views five million views already bro no i'm not even kidding and the best part is there's a bunch of comments on here saying you're the coolest plumber ever oh people are really hyping you up oh my bro. gosh someone said i should be the next president it's already happening todd me and you bro it's already being manifested you're gonna be the vice president i'll be the president and we're gonna change this city for the better bro change the world for the better now let's go get some food my fellow fans Thank you all so much for coming out to this small little campaign. I am so grateful that we have a big crowd here. Seriously. I just want to let people know we have voting in three months and then we will see who will be the president. And you know, I am very inspired. We have so many good law changes coming up, such as bigger highways, more playgrounds, bigger airports, and we need some more food places. I mean, come on, who wants to eat at the same three food places? More food, dang it. Everyone's cheering. Woo, I love Poke. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Zito. Appreciate you. But the big twist is actually right here. I'm actually a normal guy. As you guys know, I am a plumber. And well, why would you want to vote for a plumber for president? Well, let's just say that I keep that crap out. Vote for me like you'd vote for your favorite plumber. And well, speaking of me being a plumber, I got work to do at the White House, guys. So again, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. See you guys soon. I would say, woo! Ah, oh, yeah, thank you guys so much. All right, I'm out. All right, let me get my campaign manager to clean that up for me. I'm already building a team, guys. It's really happening. But we gotta head to work. wonder what the president would think about this. Even if I didn't become president, maybe I'd even get a higher up spot in the gov. Oh, that'd be so sick. All right, we're here for another day at work. Let's just get started downstairs in the toilet. And oh man, there's a lot of ruckus going on up there. If you guys can't hear that, what in the crap? Okay, I'm just gonna do what I gotta do. Clog the toilet. Wait, wait a minute. I hear Todd through the wall. Yo, yo, Todd. Yo, Todd, I'm over here. What's, what's going on, bro? Poke, bro. Oh my God, I got big news. We just got a call. Jay Bablo wants to do a debate between you and the president tonight. What? I'm so in. Is, is the president in? If you nailed this debate, this could be huge for you. Oh my gosh. And you're right. I'm picking up in votes. Uh, my social medias are blowing up right now. This is actually happening, bro. I, I wonder how he's taking this. Is he happy that I'm running? Uh... Oh, God, here he comes. Uh, oh, oh. M Mr. President! Hey! Oh, and he's actually coming right up to me. So you, I know what you've been up to. Mr. President, I'm simply just living. I'm I'm just doing what the free country allows me to. said, how could you do this? I was so good to you. You you, you, you weren't, though. I'm not afraid to call you out on your, on your crap, bro. All right, listen up. You know what? You weren't good to me, okay? And there's a lot of things that you're doing around here that aren't good. Look, you have RK machines everywhere. The money is going to nothing. All the money is going towards your campaign. He said, this ticky talk, whatever thing you're doing is ruining my campaign. It's all these young voters that don't know real politics. Yeah, yeah. He said, that app is getting banned. Maybe you would benefit from oh he said you're fired wait what fired no oh, you're kidding me i had a feeling that might happen he 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 fired me well you know what no no no. now i'm just gonna double down even more you know what bro who the crap is this over here dude hey sir I i've seen you here for weeks okay do you hate your life oh he he's up i'm in exactly what i thought all right todd unfortunately bro i know that you're still the vice president dude so uh, I guess uh, we'll see you later, bro. Me and this guy, are, we're gonna go work on our debate skills. We're gonna we're gonna go work on our debate points tonight and everything, buddy. Okay, I'll meet you later, bro. Don't worry, I'm gonna help you get prepared for that debate. Oh, thank you, buddy. All right, talk to you soon, dude. All right, come on, buddy, let's go. Holy crap, it's here, bro. I'm actually about to debate the president, dude. Todd, I, I think I'm ready, though. Remember what I told you, bro, okay? Just stay calm and just literally, like, remember that secret thing I told you? Oh, crap, here we go. All right. I'm walking up. Oh my God, there's the president and look how happy he looks. And Jay, big fan, by the way. Oh, thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Jay Boblo and I am here with the president. Ah, what up, what up? And I'm here with Poke, a plumber 
for the president that is now running to become the new president against his own boss. Yeah, nice to meet everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you so much for letting me be here. I'm just absolutely grateful. So let's just get right into it. The first topic is going to be about buildings inside Brookhaven. 30 seconds each side. Well, honestly, I think we have a lot. Like, I really don't know what else we need to add. It's a great country. We have all the buildings we need. It's great. So again, I, I'm not too sure. New buildings? <sighs> Well, maybe. Poke your turn. Thanks, Jay. I reached out to the community and I noticed that there were actually a bunch of concerns that they had, including adding playgrounds, extending airports, etc. Now, I really do think that I can actually get these things first day into office by cutting a bit of tax into a certain area that isn't really important and doesn't really do too much to us. Sorry if I'm talking fast. I'm just trying to get this point across before. And time. But next topic. The civilians of Brookhaven are worried about a possible crime rate extension. What could lower this? It's fine. The whole thing is fine. Everyone needs to just relax. It's not going up. You, you can look. It's not. Well, there's a multitude of things. Are the communities in Brookhaven good? How are the jobs out here? Do we have a trustworthy system of people in the community around us? How about safety precautions at buildings, etc.? There's so many things, but of course, I don't know anything. These things may help. These things may not. But as long as we try new things, couldn't hurt. And we have a bunch more questions to go, so let's get right into it. Holy crap. That was crazy, guys. We just debated for literally an hour straight. I'm just going to let the president know. Great job, Mr. President. I mean, to be honest, I think I have this one in the bag, but he, he did all right. And thank you, Jay, for hosting. Oh, no problem at all. Seriously. Man, Todd, how do you think I did, buddy? You think I did Dude, good? I actually think it went pretty well, bro. Yeah, I, I really think that a lot of people in Brookhaven are going to hear you and think you're going to do a better job than uh, Mr. Oliver over there. Look at him. Yeah, where did he? He's just walking away. He's really not in a good mood. Something's wrong with that guy. Well, honestly, dude, I better get home. We got votes coming in in three months, dudes. We got much more prepping to do. All right, getting a lot of campaign work done. It's going great. I actually think I'm catching up with the president's votes as I speak. Oh, oh, someone at my door. Oh, there's someone here. Oh, what the? Mr. President! Mr. President, what are you doing here? I said, hello, Poke. Don't worry. I came alone. But what do you want, Mr. President? Seriously, you have a whole, like, country you gotta be running right now. What are you doing over here? I'm just a campaigner, man. He said, well, you remember that 50k I said I gave you? Oh, yeah, of course I remember it. And then you totally lied. And it didn't even matter. How does a real 50,000 in a position in the city council sound? Okay, well, I'm very intrigued, but... You say now all I have to do is drop out of the race? Sir, I am not doing that. I don't even want the money. I just want to make changes, actually. Like, for real. Unlike you and your Jenga. He said, don't be hasty. No, sir. I won't be taking it. We have the election in two months. The only way for you to win is to beat me. I said, fine. Have it your way. I'll be watching. Well, that was creepy. But he can't convince me. Seriously, he can't. I'm gonna do what I can to make sure I stay in this race. I can't believe it. Today's the day that I find out if I'm gonna be president. Wait, Todd, I'm super confused. Aren't you supposed to be near the president for like something like this? Like today, like this, man? Like, yeah, but I got a feeling he's gonna lose, bro. So I wanted to come and spend it with the new real president. Hey, okay, let's not jinx it just yet, but let's definitely take a look. Oh, wait, the, the first the first county of Brookhaven's loading in. And it seems we have an influx of votes coming in for Poke. So far, this is a 50-50 with many more votes to be counted. Holy crap, it's actually happening. Okay, well, at this point, we just gotta wait and see bro we'll just wait and see oh god my eyes ow bro you should like maybe back up and take a seat yeah no maybe you're right honestly it's been too much here how about you what's going on right now just let me know okay uh j bobo is actually oh my god he just announced that this is the final poll oh Okay, wait a minute. I'm up, bro. And we have our last county in, which brings the vote to 91% majority want Poke as the new president, but 9% wanting the old one. Oh, jeez, what did he do? Holy Woo! crap, I'm gonna be the president, and you're my VP, bro. Hey, buddy, I got something for you here. Let me just uh, give you this pin. <gasps> oh my god, I love it. Well, dude, we better head to the brand new home that we're staying in, bro. Oh, here we go, dude. I already live there, but that's okay. Yeah, I mean, hey, think about this, bro. You're getting two back to back. This is crazy. And with different presidents, too. Woohoo! I can't believe it, bro. I'm in here and it's mine this time. It's ours, bro. This Welcome is our land. Welcome to your land. new office, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. Oval office. Let me just get behind the desk and... Ah! I feel so sick, dude. All right, well, here's all the paperwork that you gotta get started on, bro. Oh, like, I really don't oh. mean to be doing this to you, like, right oh, off the bat, but, like, dude, yo. you really didn't want to be president, so, like, oh. I'm telling you, like, eh, th that's pretty much all, but just, like, for today's Oh, wait, wait some, someone's here. Sorry, I I'll, let me go get that. Uh, we need your signature, though. Well, someone's at the door. First time at the White House, and it is... Oh. 
um, old, old Mr. President? He said, can I, uh, come in? Uh, let's talk outside, actually. Um, uh, wh wh why are you here, sir? What's going on? Don't you know I'm the president? He just said, I was wondering, since I treated you so well, can I get a job here? Well, I do have one open position, and it's a great one, by the way. You can start plunging all of the toilets, sir. Welcome to the janitor life. All right, let's get to those papers. We got a new janitor here. Oh, well, luckily for him, I just took a big one in the toilet. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna go take a big one too. 